hello everyone today i want to show you how to solve this problem for the values of c if we have 8 minus c whole square is equals to 81 and we solve this problem for all the values of c so here we solve this problem for two methods and i hope so uh, you like both of these methods uh, but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so now here in the very first method uh, we uh, use uh, or we solve this problem with the help of this nice algebraic formula you know about that if we have a minus b whole square equals to a square minus 2 times of a b plus b square so according to this uh, algebraic formula so we can write the left hand side of the above equation as in this form because you see that here our a is 8 and our b is c so when you put these two values of a and b in the right hand side of this formula the above equation is written as 8 square minus 2 times of a b here our a is 8 and b is c plus b square so b is c square and this whole is equals to 81 and now we solve this problem for the values of c so that here we need to rearrange the terms and we have this is 8 square and 8 square equals to 64 minus this is 2 times of 8 becomes uh, 16 into c plus this is c square and now we move this 81 uh, from right hand side to the left hand side and it will becomes minus 81 equals to 0 and now further in the next step we need to add or subtract the like terms uh, and we have uh, first we write this is c square and after that we have this is minus 16 c and here we need to subtract these two values uh, and when we subtract these two values it will be written as when we subtract these values we get here minus 17 and this whole equation equals to 0 so now you see here this equation will become quadratic in c variable so that here we can uh, apply the quadratic formula in order to solve this equation uh, so that first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are capital a is equals to 1 capital b is equals to minus 16 and capital c is equals to minus 17 and here we state the quadratic formula as c is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the our quadratic formula and now we need to put the values of a b and c in this formula and it will be written as c is equals to this is minus b the value of b is minus 16 when we put it here it will becomes minus times of minus 16 and plus minus square root of b square so b is minus 16 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is minus 17 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 and now further in the next step we need more simplifications and here we have this is minus times of minus becomes 16 and plus minus so uh, here we have minus 16 square equals to 256 this is minus times of minus becomes plus and 4 times of 17 is equals to 68 and it is divided by <coughs> 2 times of 1 equals to 2 and now here in the next step we need more simplifications now it will be written as 16 plus minus square root of we need to add these two values and we add it, it will be written as uh, 6 plus 8 becomes 14 we write 4 and carry 1 <coughs> and we have uh, 5 plus 1 6 6 plus 6 is 12 we write 2 and carry 1 and 2 plus 1 becomes 3 so it will becomes 324 and it is divided by 2 and now here in the next step we need to make the factors inside the square root term and it will be written as a 16 plus minus square root of here we break this 324 as 
18 multiplied by 18. We know that 18 times of 18 becomes 324. Uh, so uh, here we obtain uh, this is 16 plus minus 18 divided by 2 and here we break uh, this uh, equation and here first we write the positive value it is 16 plus 18 divided by 2 and here we write the negative value it is <clears throat> 16 minus 18 divided by 2 and now here in the next step we have here you get 16 is equals to 16 plus 18 is equals to 34 divided by 2 and here we have c is equals to 16 minus 18 is equals to minus 2 over 2 uh, so here we obtain c is equals to 17 and from here we get c is equals to minus 1 we will get here these are the two roots of the given equation uh, which we get here from first method and now we move forward and we again solve this problem for the second method uh, and now here in second method we first copy down the given question statement here it is 8 minus c whole square equals to 81 and now in the second method we solve this problem with the help of this nice formula you know that if we have a square minus b square equals to a minus b times of a plus b according to this formula we write our above equation as first you have 8 minus c whole square and now we move this 81 in the left hand side uh, and it will be written as minus 81 equals to 0 now we write uh, this equation into this form so it will be written as 8 minus c whole square we write this 81 as 9 square equals to 0 and you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b so according to this formula we write uh, this equation as first you have a minus b the value of a is 8 minus c and the value of b is 9 into a plus b the value of a is 8 minus c plus the value of b is 9 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now here in the next step uh, we need a little bit simplifications here and we get 8 minus 9 is equals to minus 1 minus c and here you get 8 plus 9 becomes 17 minus c equals to 0 so we divide this equation into two cases the first case is we get 1 minus c equals 0 and the second case is we get 1 as uh, 17 minus 1 is equals to 0 so from this case we easily get the value of c is equals to minus 1 and from this case we easily get the value of c is equals to 17. so these are the two roots uh, which we get here from second method and now in the next step we need to uh, verify these values of c for this we need to copy down the given question statement here it is 8 minus c square equals to 81 and here we put the value of c equals minus 1 and here we put the value of c equals to 17 so when you put this value here it will becomes 8 and this is minus times of minus becomes uh, plus 1 whole square is equals to 81 so 8 plus 1 becomes 9 square equals to 81 and 9 square becomes 81 equals to 81. This shows that the value of c equals to minus 1 satisfies this given question statement. And now we put this value here it will become 8 minus 17 whole square equals to 81. And here 8 minus 17 becomes minus 9 whole square equals to 81. And minus 9 square becomes 81 equals to 81. So this shows that the value of c equals to 17 is also satisfied the given question statement. This is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.